Hi, me and friends. I'm Miss Lenora, and today is Tuesday, January 19th, and I'm reading Let It Snow. This week, where we're learning about winter and snow. We don't live in the winter or snow, but it's really cold, and we get snow on the mountains. So, here we go. Christmas was just around the corner, and Puddle hadn't seen a single snowflake yet. Just let it snow, he wistfully pleaded to the sky. There had to be snow. His friend, Toot, was more concerned about another matter altogether. He wanted to give Puddle a wonderful surprise for Christmas, the best present ever. He knew that the best present was usually something you made yourself, a one-of-a-kind thingamajig. A thingamajig, not just what sits anyone could buy in a store. One year he made Puddle a bright red sled. They named the WP Rocket. Another year he gave his pal a mysterious seed pod. They waited half the winter to see how it would bloom. At just last Christmas he presented Puddle with a real wrap, big enough for two, the W Pond Lily Queen. They wouldn't wait until spring to launch it. Oh, it's nice to make some present. This year, though, Toot was really stumped. Puddle was a contented homebody. He was a cook and a gardener and an artist. He loved trees and birds in his own backyard. He was certainly the best friend you could have. What could he possibly give good what puds for Christmas? Cook, a gardener, an artist. He was thinking and thinking. <laughs> of course, Puddle was asking himself the same question about two. One year he knit him a wool sweater, robin egg blue. Another Christmas he gave him a purple ball for balance, balancing on. Then there was the year of Puddle's giant plum put pudding, which kept him merely stuffed for a month. <laughs> Puddle knew two inside out. His friend loved hiking and adventuring in strange places. He loved the maps and gear and exciting weather. He was brave and daring and jolly. He was the best friend ever. What was just the thing for good old Toodles this year? A bike, <laughs> a swimming, an umbrella or wind. They don't know an umbrella. When Puddle phoned his cousin Opal, to ask her opinion, she said, a little cuddle, cuddly something would be nice, like a homey doll. For two, really, asked Puddle. I think he liked that, Opal replied sweet, sweetly. When Toot called Opal with the same question concerning Puddle, she said the same thing. Maybe a homey doll of some kind. A doll, Toot was puzzled. Something soft and cute, she said. That night it began to snow. The next morning Toot and Puddle awoke in the new world. The snow had been silently falling through the night, now blank blanket everything with a hushed, gleaming luster. The skies, Toot called. Where are the skies? I've got them, Puddle cried eagerly. Let's go. The path through the woods became a magically a magical journey. The two friends skied along in the silence stirred by the beauty surrounding them. When they stopped to rest, Puddle said, I wish I could take this morning and put it in my pocket and keep it forever. Me too, Toot sighed. It's perfect. But then, by evening, hard rain began to fall. Oh no, Puddle protested, and by the next day, the glorious snow was gone. I can't believe it, Toot frowned. Neither can I, Puddle said sadly. I was all set to go sledding. His spirits had been momentarily dampen. Aww, it's raining. Still Christmas was coming. It was almost here. Snow or no snow, and the two friends soon plunged into a state of busy excitement. As for presents, Toot spent every spare minute in his workshop in the basement, clearly inspired at last. And Puddle was up to something equally private and absorbing in the attic. On Christmas Eve, the two friends emerged from their workshops, and each of them carried a handsomely wrapped something or other. Wouldn't you like to open your present right now? Toot asked. We have to wait until tomorrow, Puddle said. 
when Opal comes. Christmas morning in Wood Woodpock Pocket was brimming with anticipation. Opal soon arrived as the youngest. She was the first to open presents. How did you know what I wanted? She wondered appreciatively. It was just a lucky guess, said Puddle. What will you name them? Well, said Opal, I have to get to know them first. One is probably a toot and one is probably a puddle. What is a puddle? A puddle asked. And what in the world is a toot? said Toot. You know, Opal replied, I'm sure they're best friends, but one is one one way and one is the other. Oh, said the friends together. We got our dolls. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Toot beamed, presenting his enormous gift to Puddle. His friend unwrapped the package slowly and carefully. I love it, said Puddle. I made it myself, Toot said proudly. I know. Let It's for sledding. Snow or snow, snow. Let's go sledding today, said Opal. He made him like a, a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Little cart. And Merry Christmas to you, Puddle said, presenting his package. Toot tried to remain calm, but couldn't quite suppress his eagerness. It's you and me, said Puddle shyly, he added. That snowy day in the woods. It's perfect, Toot said, standing back to admire his friend's work. There we are. <laughs> You plus me. Oh, it's him in the snow. He painted him a picture. That's super cute. That's Let It Snow. Nishunovic. You guys have a good day.